that have uh, have questions or or comments or concerns or anything, let me know. Uh, but I really wanted to like go over that because I realized I had this kind of like interesting moment when I was at Shine this weekend. Um, I was at Shine this weekend throwing a tournament for Rahala and helping do a bunch of TO stuff for that and. Uh, there were a bunch of setups with fighting games on it, and on Sunday I was like, all right, I'm going to go over to the fighting game area, I'm going to play some Tekken, I saw some people playing Tekken earlier. So I go over there, and I see people playing Blaze Blue. So there's a guy uh, and his buddy like sat there, you know, playing, and they're in the training room or whatever. I'm like, hey, can I get a set? I'd you know, love to play some Blaze Blue. Um, and I ended up playing against this guy, and I ended up completely... Uh, completely destroying him, which is not the point. The point is, is that afterwards he he asked me, he was like, "Hey, like, what is it that I can do to get better at this game? Like, I've been playing Blaze Blue for you know two or three years now. I feel like I just have hit this point where I'm not really progressing anymore. I really don't know what to focus on or what to do." Um, and it was interesting because I hadn't really thought about that. Like, and it's something that I forget uh, a lot when I'm when I'm playing games and you know picking things up is like I'm always very aware of my progress and I'm always trying to consciously think about what I need to do next in order to get better and there's even like points and times where I will list out uh, you know here's all the things I need to do here's like all the stuff I'm not gonna worry about because I, I'm you know I'm just there's no hope in me getting that good right now so right now I just need to focus on this one thing and I've always kind of had this this mental roadmap of, uh, of what, it, what I needed to work on and how I could improve. Um, and I always forget that some people like they don't, they aren't able to kind of break things down in that method where you know they can understand why they're losing or understand what they can do next or understand that there is always a way forward. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to start trying to do with a lot of uh, Blaze Blue stuff in the future is like. Start trying to break down a lot of the things that do actually confuse people um, about the game. Like, this year was actually the first year that I learned how, like, the knockdown game in Blaze Blue worked. Um, and really, really started to understand it. There's still some things that screw me up, but for the most part, like, I understand Oki and Knockdown, like, a whole bunch, a whole bunch more than I did a couple years ago. And that's something that a lot of people who are new to the game just really struggle with. They're like, what do I do when I get knocked down? Like, how is it that people are just able to constantly hit me? Like, why is everything meaty? You know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that's something that I'm interested in doing. I'm going to be trying to make more Blaze of Blue content uh, over the next few weeks. And just kind of break down a lot of the things that are just really overlooked because the combos are so flashy because there's so many other cool things you can do in the game um so i'm hoping to make more things about like meaty setups and uh you know option selects for um for oki and going over how to play neutral and learning how to incorporate anti-air you know all sorts of like more basic stuff just to help people uh help people break through all of the insanity and actually, you know, remember that really this game does have a ton of fighting game fundamentals in it. Um, yeah, so that's enough of that rant. Um, I'm going to be doing that.